Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state Then nearly 14 million years ago Expansion started way The earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall We built the pyramids Math, science, history, unraveling the mystery That all started with a Big Bang Hi, I'm Ellie Leaders, and I'm the project manager of the San Diego Science Alliance ISS team. So, we chose this experiment for two reasons. The first reason is because this is new frontier, like, people really haven't investigated different products to use blocking radiation on the International Space Station, and it's applicable. Astronauts can't spend more than six months in orbit due to radiation poisoning. So what we're trying to do is come up with a material that can block radiation so we can have longer term space flight such as to Mars. The second reason we chose this was because it's feasible. We had some other ideas that would be depend upon, uh, dependent upon like plant growth and we were afraid that they would die before we would make it up there. The other idea we were bouncing around had to do with bacteria. Again, if something died, that would basically be the kaputs of our experiment. So we chose this because radiation sensors are dependable and it could work. Hi, I'm Emma Ling and my job was to be in charge of getting radiation sensors to see how much we're blocking in space. And um, so I called up a company called Polymaster that produces radiation sensors for people who are working in nuclear reactors. And they sent us two $700 dosimeters that measure gamma radiation x-rays. Um, so basically they, what they do is they um, measure how much, do, how much dosage is being absorbed. So they measure it in sieverts and um, it's about one and a half inches in diameter so we can fit two of them into our capsule. So our hypothesis is that if we put two PM1603B risk gamma radiation detectors in a four inch by two inch by two inch box in the microlab on the ISS, if one radiation detector is covered by a known blocking material mixture of aluminum and polyethylene plastic, and the second detector is covered by bismuth putty, then the detector covered in bismuth will receive less radiation than the detector covered in aluminum polyethylene mix. This is due to the fact that bismuth is the heaviest stable element, which makes it very dense. And dense materials have been proven to get block gamma radiation. Some applications for this experiment might be shielding on the ISS for the safety of present astronauts, or for future missions to Mars or other space missions that might um, involve exposure to prolonged cosmic radiation. So basically there are two types of radiation, ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Mostly space radiation consists of ionizing radiation. There are three different types. There are galactic cosmic radiation, which is um, which consists of beams that come from out of our solar system. They're very high speed, um, faster or as fast as the speed of light, and they have low flux, so they don't decrease over time. And um, it mostly consists of neutron radiation and gamma radiation. Then we also have solar particle events, which are like corona flares, where the sun releases massive amounts of energy. So the, sol the solar particle events um, mostly occur on a seven or eleven year cycle, and then there's also um, the trapped radiation that's surrounding Earth. So surrounding Earth, there are two belts. They're called the Van Allen belts, and um, one is about forty thousand kilometers above the Earth's um, surface, and the other is about twenty thousand kilometers above the Earth's surface. So in order for humans to get outside of this zone to go to Mars, go to the moon, anywhere, they would have to pass through these belts where radiation is extremely hot. But currently, the ISS is beneath these belts. So basically, the four main types of radiation um, that are significant to humans are alpha radiation, which takes the form of a helium nucleus that's ejected from um, any radioactive element, and then beta radiation, which is in the form of an electron, that's ejected from a radioactive element during radioactive decay, and then um, gamma radiation, which is high energy photons, and then neutron radiation, which takes the form of a neutron. We're focusing on gamma radiation and neutron radiation because they are the most harmful to humans. Um, the way we're trying to block gamma radiation is to use a very dense substance. However, neutron radiation is a much bigger problem because 
we don't even know what substances block neutron radiation. Mostly they've used water and concrete in the past, however, that's not a practical solution to um, bring onto the International Space Station. Hi, my name is Grace Young, and I'm one of the software programmers for this team. So, one of the, the two types of radiation that we're looking to find and measure in space are both gamma rays and x rays. Gamma rays or x rays are both the most, most harmful for the astronauts because they can go through your skin and hit the DNA molecules inside of your cells and alter them and possibly cause cancer. So, um, our radiation sensor can pick up both of these two types of radiation. And the idea for our experiment is to try and find a material that can better block these types of radiation on the space station. So we have two radiation sensors and we're going to put one into our little experiment and cover it with some kind of new material. Right now we're thinking about titanium. And then the other radiation sensor will not have that kind of uh, blocking material on top of it. So we're going to look at both of them up in space and try and get the information of how much radiation each of them is getting hit by. Um, right now some of our ideas for getting the radiation uh, measurements off of the sensors and down to earth is either having some kind of USB plug that plugs into the micro lab or um, somehow getting the wiring and programming it to uh, send down a different way. But if that doesn't work, we're hoping that I can store it until it get back, back, gets back down to earth. So radiation in space is made out of subatomic particles which damage the DNA of humans. And this can damage the instructions encoded upon the DNA which can lead to future problems such as cancer and Alzheimer's disease. So what we're doing in our project is we're trying to find a material that can better shield radiation than what they're already using at the International Space Station. Right now they're using polyethylene and aluminum. And we're hoping that if we can find a better material, this can um, prevent most of the effects that have happened so far. With this radiation. is our gamma radiation sensor, the PM1603B wrist gamma radiation sensor. Um, it is set up in Röntgens right now, and it has multiple applications. This button right here allows you to go through each function. Um, right now, the two applications that we need are this one, which allows us to measure um, the current radiation levels, and this one, which allows us to measure cumulative radiation levels. Um, this button right here turns on a backlight, and this button here turns the infrared transmission on and off. We also have the IR detector right here that allows us to send information to a computer through infrared um, Special light. thanks to Polymaster, Deck Tech, Valley Christian High, Qualcomm, Realcom, and HQ Precision Instruments for all your help and support on the project. It's much appreciated.